how to use a thimble for sewing. That's coming up. Hello, Fashion So. I'm Colleen Judy, and welcome to FSB TV. If you're looking to improve your fashion sewing skills, consider subscribing and let's get started. So we're talking about thimbles. Now, thimbles are what protects your fingers when you're sewing. So we're going to go into a bit more details of how these little savers of pinpricks into your fingers are an essential tool for your fashion sewing. So we are talking about the humble thimble, <laughs> humble thimble, um, and it's this tiny little thing which is so important for your fashion sewing. And I'm going to show you how to use it. So we tend to wear it on our middle finger, like so. You can wear it on other fingers. I've seen people wear it on other fingers and sometimes even more than one. So um, you wear it on your middle, middle finger and I've got one that hasn't got a top on it. So um, my nails can show through. So um, I'm going to show you how to use that safely just to make sure you don't get any pinpricks, um, you protect your finger and also protecting your nail. Um, I have three there. I don't need three, uh, so I'll just get that one out of the way. That's a spare one. Um, I'll just go quickly through, as you can see, there are slight differences in these. Now, I'll just put those onto my finger, and you can see that this one is a better fit, and my nail is poking out of the top of it. This one, there is no hole at the top, and I don't use that. This one, for that reason, is because I have um, quite long nails, and it just doesn't fit. So that really wouldn't be of any use. You need to make sure that your thimble is really firm on your finger. So no, it would be that one. I would need anyone would need one that fits really well. And it's important that it fits well because you need to protect your finger. So you have the type where it is got a closed cap, let's say, at the top, and the other there is none. And it's also about personal choice. So if you've got if you've got nails or no nails, you can still go for this one. Um, if you've got long nails, then I wouldn't recommend going for this one. This one you will need to go for if you have long nails. Now you should be able to see, and it's for both as well, and um, there are slight grooves in here. And the reason that that's there is to protect your fingers as you're sewing, but also to aid you when you're pushing your needle into your work. So let me just demonstrate that. So we've got a needle here with some thread. So what you do, you wear your needle usually on your middle finger and I have seen people wear it on their you know index finger on their thumbs or some people you know have two for example like so you know I have seen people use yeah it's I only tend to use one um but I have seen it on different fingers and also um use one on without the top to it and one with the top on. So um, yeah, it really is up to you, but make sure you do whenever you can to protect your fingers. So going back to the needle. So what happens is it has loads of little perforations on there and that is to help with the needle when you're pushing it through your work. So you want to make sure that your thimbles are not smooth because you, 
if you don't, it will literally go into your fingers depending on the size of needle that you're using. So the, the needle kind of fits into the groove itself. But actually, if I just give that, let me see, there. It literally gets stuck into a groove so that you can glide into the work. So you don't want to be hitting it at this point here because as you can see, it's just sliding around on the smooth part of the band. So locks into one of those grooves and then you can slide it into your work. So you're going to thread a needle and you're going to have your thimble on your middle finger. And then what you do is when you put your, thim your needle into your work, you're using your thimble to push it into the fabric like so and there's lots of grooves on this thimble that to make sure that you are not slipping when you're pushing the needle into your work and pull it through so I'll just do that one more time so you'll be using it to push your needle into your work as you make your stitches and then you push and then pull. So that is how you use your thimble. Remember that all these grooves that are on here are to lock the needle to the thimble so it doesn't slip as you glide it through the fabric. Right, so thimbles, they are an important tool to have in your fashion sewing. They will protect your fingers, they will protect your work as you are pushing your needle through your work. Not only use when it comes to working with difficult fabrics, it can also speed up the process in which you are sewing. And as I said, it will protect your fingers and also your nail. Yeah. Uh, I've had some, yeah, it, it, they work, they really do work. So um, with that said, do stick around the channel for more fashion sewing tutorials. Do comment if you have any queries, also put those in the comment box. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Do remember to subscribe and when you subscribe, hit the bell and that will notify you of when I upload videos so that you don't miss anything. And I will see you next time.